the Supreme Court extending its stay until Friday, delaying implementation of the Fifth Circuit's ruling, meaning wide access to the abortion pill Mifepristone remains in several states. On Capitol Hill, Democrats arguing this decision is bigger than one abortion drug. It threatens to undermine the FDA's evidence-based scientific review process and it will put countless lives at risk. The case ending up at the high court after dueling lower court rulings. First, a Texas federal judge is ruling to reverse the FDA's Mifepristone approval, arguing the agency had not properly considered its health effects. Then, an opposing decision from Washington state, where a federal judge ordered the FDA to preserve Mifepristone access in 17 states and Washington, D.C. After a Justice Department appeal of the Texas decision, the Fifth Circuit issued its ruling calling for stricter guidelines on prescribing and administering Mifepristone and and blocking its delivery by mail. I think the radical abortion policies of the Biden administration are wrong, but at the end of the day, we're a rule of law nation. Upholding the Fifth Circuit decision would roll back the expanded access women have had to the drug for several years. And that's exactly what the group of conservative doctors that brought the original Mifepristone suit is now demanding. And polling from Pew Research taken just days before those dueling lower court rulings finds 53% of Americans think medical abortion should be legal in their states, with 22% saying it should be illegal. Justin Finch, ABC News at the Supreme Court.